Hey YouTubers, this is J and B from JB Coins Inc. And in this video, we will talk to you about some very pricey wheat pennies. See you in a bit. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box and an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. This video is dedicated to the Lincoln Cents, or wheat pennies, struck in 1919. But we will also talk about wheat pennies in general since they are the second most collected uh, denomination among American coins. If you like this topic or any topic related to coins and currency, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It helps our small channel a lot. The 1919 wheat pennies were struck in three mints, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. They all were minted as regular striped coins. Even the San Francisco mint produced some regular pennies, not proof pennies like we used to see from the San Francisco Mint. The main reason for this video are their most recent sales, and in fact, that wheat pennies are highly collectible and a favorite of many coin collectors. In fact, the sales of 286 wheat pennies in January of this year at the Great Collections Auction brought $7.73 million. Or to make it easier, the $2.86 of face value in pennies sold for $7.7 .7 million. It's unreal. The Lincoln wheat cents were minted from 1909 to 1958. There are many key dates, amazing errors, varieties, and some outstanding rarities in the wheat penny series. They replaced the Indian head penny. The new design had the portrait of the President Lincoln on the obverse or face of the coin and the wheat stalks on the reverse or tail of the coin. Do you know why Lincoln wheat pennies were struck by the U.S. Mint in 1909? It was to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The cents were struck in 95% copper composition and should weigh 3.11 grams. It was designed by Victor David Brenner. When Victor David Brenner created his new design, he placed his full name in tiny letters on the base of the reverse, bottom center. This was nothing new, as other designers and engravers had placed their names and or initials on coins in the past. As part of modifications to Brenner's models, mint engraver Charles Barber changed the name to the artist's three initials, VDB. So the first issued wheat pennies had the designer's initials. The VDB were located near the rim and centered below the wheat stalks, as you can see in this picture. But the designer's initials created many controversies and many newspaper reporters argued that the initials were illegal advertising for the designer. After that, the designer's initials were removed entirely from the coin, and the new round of cents were produced without the VDB in the same year. The first wheat penny cents in 1909 were minted at Philadelphia and San Francisco mints, and were both struck for a few weeks before the removal of the VDB initials. Because of the short period of time which 1909 VDB pennies were struck, there is a relatively small number of these coins in existence, and truly no one knows how many of them have survived. Originally, there were less than 28 million 1909 VDB Lincoln wheat pennies made at the Philadelphia Mint, and only 484,000 1909 SVDB Lincoln cents struck in San Francisco, making them instantly super rarities and a key date. The 1919 pennies are not as rare as the 1909 VDB pennies, but are also desirable and sell great at the auctions. How great? Well, before we talk about their values, please remember the color of the scent is very important. There are three basic ones, brown, 
on the graded slab, you will see the letter B. Red brown, and on the slab, you'll see RB. And the letter red or RD for red, with the red color being the best. The Philadelphia Mint minted over 392 million pennies that year. They won't bear any mint mark. There were two sales this year. This 1919 wheat cent in MS64 grade RB or red brown sold at David Lawrence auctions for $100. Now it's not a high grade, but that's really good money. In the lowest mint state grades, it's worth between $15 to $25, and it might not be worth grading. But to buy or sell a coin, you don't need to get it graded. It really depends on what you want to do with your collection. So just remember to always check the grading agency's pricing and requirements before submitting them. The next 1919 penny that recently sold, it's in a much higher grade. MS-68 Red, and this coin sold at the Heritage Auctions for $12,000. The Mint State 68 grade is a high grade. The MS-68 grade is a high grade. It's not the highest for this coin, but it's definitely a very nice one. The best known grade so far is the MS-69, but it never got sold. So PCGS estimates the value of this coin around $30,000. Now, just as a reminder, the grading scale for mint state coins at most of the grading agencies starts at 60 and finishes at 70, with the MS-70 being the best. There is a new grading scale just launched by NGC that ranks the condition of the coins from 1 to 10, with 10 being the best. The Denver Mint struck a much lower number of pennies this year, only 57 million of them. The lower population makes them more valuable than the coins struck at the Philadelphia Mint. And here are the latest sales numbers. In MS-65 grade, this 1919D MS-65 RB sold at David Lawrence for $1,100. In MS-67 red, this coin sold at Heritage Auctions for $31,200. And only a half a grade higher, MS67 Plus, its value goes up almost $100,000. It's amazing, but there's more. The 1919S cent was struck that year as a regular strike coin. The San Francisco Mint struck almost 140 million coins. They will bear an S mint mark, and the 1919S is a semi key date. The 1919 S penny is very valuable, even in lower mint state grades. In MS65 grade, yep, only MS65, this coin sold at the Heritage Auctions for $11,200. That's the latest sale of this coin as well. How cool is that? Over 11 grand for a coin in that grade? You can find it in your pocket. So check your collection, check your penny jars, and look for this year's cents. And we have a question for you. Do you have any 1919 wheat pennies? Please let us know in the comment section below. We read all of your comments. And please watch our video about the 1922 wheat penny and the interesting facts about them. So we hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and share and see you in the next one.